All right, we're gonna modify this K0 Ultra. I've got everything we need here just to get it going for the highest overclock. So I'm not gonna be using actually uh, this power supply, but you can use that. I'll be soldering my connector directly here because I already ruined my barrel connector, as you could see right there. So, uh, like always, you would just get overheat your barrel connector at 12 volt and it's pull the pins out and it's pretty much same uh, for all of these miners. If you use 12 volt, you gotta use different connector. Don't use barrel connector. All right, so I finished soldering this connector, positive and negative directly to the board. You can see the positive there goes right to this chip and then negative on the other side. And I have silicon cables, wires, which is pretty flexible, 410G, but it's flexible cable. And connected to this XT60 connector was capable of holding maximum 60 amp, but 30 amp continuous, I think we will be, uh, it will be more than we need. So let's put it back together. I already cleaned chips, so we'll apply MX6, uh, Arctic MX6 um, thermal paste and put it back together. So the air blows right through them direction, okay? <clears throat> so let's glue them, leave it to dry this glue, silicone glue and uh, thermal glue. It's kind of like a silicone and we'll get it going. All right, so here's the final product. Um, we have this heat sinks attached to the um, MOSFETs, so everything should be good in about three, four hours, but typically you wanna wait for a day for thermal glue to glue to dry in completely. So typically I would just let it sit. I don't put it uh, vertically, I let it sit horizontally so they don't slide anyhow uh, by the weight of the heat sink. So just make sure you leave it like this and just wait, just be patient, get it completely dry. It will be a better result. Now, I am too lazy to swap this fence around, although I think it may get a better airflow. But what I wanna try is to put only one fan, so it blows air here and then it's concentrate and then it blows out um, on the other side. So hopefully it will help kind of pressurize the air on this um, MOSFETs uh, heat sinks. So what do you guys think? So I'll just swap one on the top and I will cover. We'll see how it works. All right, so it's ready to go. Just need to let it dry. It sinks are ready. We have a pretty nice space to push the air through and we can connect and put it back 